Hey Scorpios, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. It has been a crazy week for me uh, with personal readings, um, personal life kits, name it, okay? <sighs> Your girl's been busy. <laughs> Let's get into these messages at this time for my Scorpios. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Messages for Scorpios at this time, please. Avoid toxic people. Hang out with people who will uplift your spirit, not bring it down. Okay, what else do we have coming, jumping out here? Massive regrets. Okay, so there could be a toxic person who's now a massive regret because you are avoiding them. Oh my. Pop-up, surprise visit, reaching out in person. So there could be a toxic person or toxic people who are uh, wanting to reach out, pop up. Uh, somebody could be trying to surprise visit you, come see you in person. Somebody could want to gift you something here, Scorpio. These, whoever these toxic individuals are, definitely people who have caused you emotional like instability. They've definitely affected at some point in your life. They've affected your emotions greatly, causing you know emotional turmoil. They could have caused some sort of turmoil in your life as well. Multitasking. You could be very busy between work kids you name it scorpio same okay and we have a soulmate here the divine will provide you with love when you are ready okay it could be a pet like a soulmate from your past who's reminiscing on you here with memories reminiscing dwelling bittersweet okay what else here for scorpios please obsession <laughs> gosh you got people obsessed with you right now, Scorpio. Meanwhile, you could be obsessed in regards to like a particular thing in your life or situation. This could be <clears throat> in regards to work for some of you. Could be in regards to like a project or something you have going on here. It says focusing too much on one situation. The need to take a step back. You got some toxic people who are you're avoiding but obsessed with you, your energy change a bad habit kill a bad habit drinking overeating or anything else not serving you so this could be part of the habits that you're changing is avoiding toxic people people who even have bad habits themselves but i feel like you could definitely be um stopping some sort of bad habit you have scorpio and um leaving behind anything that doesn't serve you people places things This gives me like a death card energy here with the skull. So you could be definitely in the midst of a transformation, a metamorphosis is what I'm hearing. We have, uh, wow, I was about to say ebony. Somebody's name could be ebony. Epiphany, self-reflection, answered questions, untapped talents. Um. Okay, so you could definitely be going through an awakening, a lot of realizations, epiphanies, you could be having a lot of ideas, creative ideas popping up, you know, a lot of light bulb moments, aha moments could be happening. Um, any questions to things that you may have had are being answered at this time, whether, you know, it's through a tarot reading, whether it's through your own intuition, your dreams, people coming to you and answering these questions, you know, uh, but yeah, and I feel like there's... um. There is some sort of talent or gift that you have that you have not quite tapped into yet, Scorpio. And I feel like you're about to tap into this talent. There could be, um, I feel like also this person that's in massive regret here is also having a major epiphany about you, Scorpio. They're doing a lot of self-reflection. You could be doing a lot of self-reflection as well. Um, but I feel like this person's self-reflection is very painful, Okay, you could also have like massive regrets dealing with certain toxic individuals, Scorpio. Um, but I don't like that might be for some of you, but I'm not really picking up that energy here for you. But that could be some of you. Um, all right, let's keep going. Yeah, healing, self-care, introspection, meditation. What else? Round, round and round cycles, triggers and lessons. At the bottom is toxic, drama, arguments, incompatible. All right, so you're definitely leaving behind toxic people, toxicity, drama, 
people you just don't resonate with. Let's see. Why is the void toxic people here for Scorpio? You could have uh, like released, blocked a lot of toxic people, toxic energy. We have toxic here twice. A lot of drama. Ooh, hmm, nobody has time for that. <laughs> Tell me about avoid toxic people here for Scorpio. You could have somebody wanting to come in and bring you drama, argue with you. The star. You're in a phase of healing. Some of you could be in the limelight. Um in the public eye you could somebody here could be a model you could be into modeling or there's something like i'm hearing the word is that a word model-esque hold up okay let's see model-esque looking like a fashion so what is the word model-esque Looking like a fashion or glamour model. Okay. So even if you're not an actual like model, you may just <laughs> look like a model. You know what I'm saying? You just give off that energy. Um, wow. Okay. I like it. You could have people like, or there could be people or someone who like trying to bring you down, your self-esteem. Um These toxic people are like individuals who are trying to affect your mental health. With the star card upright, I feel like you're in a really, really good space right now, Scorpio. Your mental health is really good. I feel like you're very inspired at this time. You could also be inspiring a lot of other people as well. Um, very kind-hearted, generous. Again, you're you're definitely in a healing phase um, in your life. But I feel like it's this healing is just so like peaceful is what this feels like it doesn't feel like a harsh healing like shadow work like no this feels very peaceful um and maybe it's like that because you've gotten rid of a lot of toxic people in your life here scorpio but you could be bursting with creativity at this time you could be a healer you could be um an artist you could definitely do something artistic. You could, you know, do something online where you're seen or, you know, in the public eye where you're seen. Obviously, it's not going to be for everybody. Um, but I, yeah, I feel like you're in this energy of renewal. You could be somebody who gives spiritual guidance as well. So you could be, you know, a spiritualist, a tarot reader. Um, I'm hearing in this, into the spiritual arts. Yeah, if that's all justice. These toxic people are getting karma, Scorpio. And in particular in this deck, this justice card says on it, good karma. So I feel like you are receiving a lot of good karma right now. Things are balancing out for you. A lot of harmony as well. <clears throat> you could have Aquarius in your chart. There could be an Aquarius that you are avoiding at this time. What else here for Scorpios? The Six of Pentacles. Avoid, you know, toxic individuals who only want to take, take, take from you. Um, the ones who you're constantly giving to, but when it's your turn, they're not giving back. Like, I feel like you're not in an energy or in a space anymore, Scorpio, where you're allowing people who are half ass or not reciprocating the love, the time, the energy, whatever it is. Like, <laughs> there could be a lot of... Um, I feel like you're somebody who holds a lot of like knowledge, spiritual knowledge. You have a lot of experience in something as well. It could be like in your job. Um, but uh, there's, um, yeah. And again, there's the scales. It's like things are balancing out for you here, Scorpio. Um, I, something with your money could also be balancing out. So be careful of toxic people trying to come in because they see, you know what I'm saying? Things balancing out for you financially, just as I said that, the Tower and the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Aries, Cancer. We have Taurus, Moon here. 
something could have uh, definitely blown up between you and somebody else. This could be a friend or this could have been like a romantic interest. There was definitely a big blow up with the tower card here. And um, this is somebody who maybe wanted to come back in and reconcile with you, Scorpio. But Spirit is saying to avoid toxic people. This is somebody you could have given more to than they gave to you. Whether it's, you know, again, time, energy, money, whatever it is. Like you invested more into this person. You gave more to this person. Somebody could have also missed miss uh misjudged you here scorpio they could have had some sort of misconception about you and it feels like whatever judgment they were having or whatever misconception is kind of blowing up in their face as well this is somebody who could be going through a tower in their life going through some sort of catastrophe but there's the sudden epiphany too with the tower. You could have also had a sudden epiphany that somebody you thought was a friend or um, yeah, really was like very toxic. I feel like whatever this tower was for you in this in this situation brought about a lot of spiritual growth here with the tower and the star card. Um, you know, the star card comes after the tower in tarot so the tower is this great destruction you know this whole the, the tower falling down all those illusions falling down anything that was built on a faulty foundation being crumbled away right and the star card comes after it it's the healing um that comes in after the the, the shake of the tower you know if we put it in a perspective i don't you know mm. There could be here there could be something about a natural disaster here too with this tower and star card scorpio but you know spirit is like bringing me to like think of it this way it's like um you could have been the healer in somebody's life or in people's lives like these individuals could have been having a lot of catastrophes in their life whether it's from natural disasters whether it's from things of their own creation things just blowing up in their face with the tower card here and so, boom, the tower hits, everything starts crumbling for these people. And who do they look to for the healing? Who do they look to to help them? The star, right? They look to you, Scorpio. You could be a humanitarian. You know, you, you or you're just somebody people go to, like, you know, could be an old friend here, um, an old lover. It's like you are the one that people go to when they need that healing when they need the guidance when they need some sort of um knowledge or something and i feel like by you avoiding these individuals it's causing more of a tower in their life yeah five of cups a lot of regret on these individuals ends you could have some regret for dealing with these people like i said like you're just like damn i can't believe you know i dealt with you and you know i can't believe i allowed this situation into my life you know Scorpio but it's all a lesson it's all a lesson and these individuals I feel like they keep going through some through certain things over and over and over and over again um and they could be in regret because they didn't listen to you maybe you did give some sort of knowledge or wisdom a guidance and it's like the same thing over and over and over again so you have a lot of people in regret, I feel like, definitely going through tower moments as well. You have individuals. These toxic people are like mourning you, mourning your energy. You could, you could too, Scorpio, be in the Five of Cups, um, you know, maybe a little upset or sad or, you know, in, could, could be slight regret too. Like with that tower, tower can speak of, uh, well, it can be, it can speak of overthrowing misconceptions. So maybe you were, you know, you had somebody uh, all wrong. Maybe you thought somebody was a particular way, you know, only to come to realize you're like, damn, I can't believe you were that type of person. You know, it's something like that. All right. So avoid anybody who is not, there's no, where there's no equal give and take or reciprocity. I feel like there's a lot of good things coming your way. Blessings. I see a lot of generosity here too. I feel like your generosity is going to be repaid, Scorpio. 
your generous, kind-hearted ways, you know, all the beautiful things that you've put out into the universe, it's it's being repaid here with the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. Tell me about these massive regrets. Knight of Cups. So here comes somebody with an apology. Libra, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be those signs, but somebody's coming in with an apology. This person feels dumb. Feels I heard I heard they feel stupid. Okay, literally, I heard the word stupid. Somebody feels stupid here, Scorpio. They want to bring in a apology here. Uh, it's not a small apology. Page of Cups is a small apology for me. Knight of Cups is a little more. Um, you know, I don't know. Somebody could be trying to come in with their charm, being compassionate. Give me a little more on massive regrets. I feel like somebody's also in regret because you decided to take your cup, take your offer, take your love elsewhere and move forward. I feel like you're in, in a place where you're following your heart, Scorpio. The high priestess. You could intuitively feel somebody wanting to come in and apologize, give you some sort of love offer or gesture here with the Knight of Cups. This person is intuitive, like you're intuitive, you're extremely intuitive. You're very gifted, spiritually gifted, um, strong psychic abilities here. And whoever this individual is, I feel like is intuitive as well. Not as intuitive as you, Scorpio. I feel like the high priestess for me is always 10 steps ahead, always. So you could be 10 steps ahead of the fact that somebody's coming in to apologize um, you know, I feel like they want to go a little bigger than a page of cups energy. So they really want to bring in that charm. Um, mm. The eight of wands, there it is. There's some sort of message, uh, incoming communication coming in, possibly even an invitation Scorpio, but, um, yeah. You like, okay, so going back to what I was saying, Scorpio, and obviously this is not going to be for everybody. Yeah, I feel like you have some sort of clarity or truth around whoever this individual is. We have Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, um, Libra, Scorpio, somebody could have a Pisces moon, or their moon sign can be in any of these signs. Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius. Um, so basically you could be 28 years old or you could be born in um, 1982 here, but... The second message I was getting, Scorpio, like you could also be like you could be some of you, not all of you. This is very specific. I feel like some of you could be dealing with some sort of regrets, even, you know, may not be massive for you, but maybe you intuitively were picking up. Spirit was intuitively letting you know, like, listen, don't don't mess with this person. Don't deal with this person. Don't go back to this person. And maybe you did. Maybe you entertained it. You know what I'm saying? Only for it to kind of blow up in your face, right? Um, and now things could be in your life where um, things could be moving in a good direction for you, Scorpio. You could be receiving a lot of good news. Things are feeling very unrestricted at this time. Things are moving quickly. You're approaching your goals very quickly. And um, again, I just feel like you're in, you're in a good space right now, and like life is moving really well for you as well. Ace Ace of Swords, the Empress, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands. Some of you have options, okay. So give me a little more on this person's intentions towards Scorpios. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Ten of swords at the bottom. Bye. What? This was their intention, Scorpio. Obsession, lust, temptation. So somebody could be in regret because they didn't give you this cup of love before. And now here they come towards the high priestess. You know, the high priestess can be very mysterious, sexy, sensual. Um, you know, high priestess can sometimes be a bit witchy, especially with this devil high priestess energy here. 
some of you can be um you could be a tarot reader or into some sort of divination you can be into esoterics the occult for some of you this is somebody who knows that you're into like tarot esoterics occult knowledge and things like that and this is somebody who could have like deemed you as like evil or something here scorpio um and now they're in regret they could have been like oh hell no you know scorpio's into that demonic stuff scorpio's this scorpio's that scorpio's out here probably doing like dark magic and into the dark arts like mm, i don't think so i don't think that that's the case i think somebody was definitely projecting that energy um but yeah and what I'm getting to with the high priestess, again, that sexy, sensual, mysterious energy, like somebody could have been, somebody could have thought, or again, this whole projection, somebody could have thought that you were like behind closed doors secretly with the high priestess here, like a hoe or very sexual in a low vibrational state. Only for them to come to have this realization, this epiphany that, oh, oh, actually Scorpio's not like that. <laughs> so this person's intention is to definitely be toxic, okay? To lust after you, obsess over you, um, be very selfish. This is somebody who wants what they want and what they really want is uh, to get you in the bedroom, Scorpio. <laughs> and then Ten of Swords, stab you in the back. This is crazy. This is somebody too. Like, this is so weird. This person is so weird. They're in regret, massive regret that maybe like they didn't take a chance with you or they didn't give you this love offer. So here they come with some sort of apology. But the intention is not even real. It's not even true. It's this person has ill intentions here. Extremely ill intentions. A Gemini, Capricorn. Mm -mm. but i feel like intuitively the high, with the high priestess scorpio you know this and probably are picking this up or are going to be picking this up instantly just instantly this is somebody who could have some sort of demonic attachment they could have some sort of addiction this is somebody who wants to like they want to retaliate or they yeah This is somebody who's trying to get you to like sabotage a new beginning a new opportunity here with the ace of pentacles get you to sabotage it they want to sabotage it. it's all there's jealousy heavy jealousy around here i mean around around this situation a lot of jealousy eight of cups yeah this is somebody you walked away from six of wands you could be doing really really good in life you could you know be somebody who gets a lot of respect you could you know have a lot of admirers um very confident in yourself having some sort of victory or success um in your personal life possible advancement in your career here scorpio good news coming your way i don't know And this is a player. This is not like just any old player. This is a nasty one. Nasty. Somebody could. Now, Scorpio, for some of you, not all of you, this person. For some of you, this is somebody who knows about magic occult esoteric type of things this is somebody who could have tried to throw some sort of magic your way dark magic scorpio this could have this could even be like i'm getting like a love spell or something 
but it makes me feel <laughs> spirit is just showing me like this is strange all right this is this is very specific for somebody spirit is just showing me like the high priest is sitting there and these because like the high priestess can can feel can sense can see things before they happen it's like maybe you were right in the line of this eight of wands coming towards you and it's like mm, i see that coming from a mile away let me let me step back let me observe you know and boom you just see the wands going Shh. or maybe you step forward you're like yeah okay Shh. it's just either, either way these eight these wands this energy that was being sent your way was missed is what spirit is saying all right so somebody could be in regret for trying to mess with your love life um trying to send some sort of negative energy dark energy your way here <laughs> all righty let's keep it going yeah this is somebody who's going to be experiencing some sort of misfortune in their life as you're experiencing a bright a bright brand new beginning here Tell me about obsession for Scorpio. I'm, there's a lot of obsession here with the devil. <laughs> Tell me about obsession. The hangman. Somebody's stuck on you. Pisces energy. Page of wands. You could be getting a message from somebody here, Scorpio. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Aries. Somebody fantasizes about you heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Um, now, another thing I'm getting here is Scorpio. This could be you as well with the hangman being stuck on something obsessed with something and just stuck on this one thing and again i feel like this is for you scorpio i feel like this has to do with work or a project of some sort spirit is wanting you to shift your perspective see things in a new perspective take a step back I feel like somebody's obsession with you is also causing them a lot of suffering at this time, Scorpio. And I feel like if you focus on a situation too much, if you obsess over something too much, Scorpio, you're going to cause yourself some sort of suffering here. Okay. Um, but I'm also getting like somebody's obsession with you is... causing them to like be feel and be stuck and stagnant give me a little more on obsession eight of swords this could be somebody you're you've rejected somebody cannot get you out of their head here scorpio this is somebody who feels powerless in a situation i feel like this is somebody who feels like all they can do is obsess over you they feel like restricted or bound or stuck. Like they can't come towards you. There's a lot of fear, anxiety. This person could feel like you're not, like they're not your type or something or you're not into them. And maybe that may be true here, Scorpio. This is somebody you know. I feel like you have a lot of past people who are obsessed about you right now. And then there's one person in particular who's um, definitely, you're heavy in their thoughts. Now, the other message I was getting yeah, there's somebody, something here could be online too. There could be like a lot of online drama, obs like obsession. Um, the other message I was getting going back to you here, Scorpio, is um, obsessing over a particular thing is going to end. It, like it could be putting you in this eight of swords, feeling stuck, feeling fearful or anxious about maybe a particular outcome of something. And spirit is wanting you to kind of like relax, step out of this obsessive energy Step out of the energy of feeling stuck, bound, restricted, fearful, anxious. Like you could be rejecting offers or opportunities or not taking up opportunities that even the divine is showing you here, Scorpio, because again, like I like you're upset, like there could be 
a certain thing that you're obsessed with, a goal, a project, something here in regards to your career, your business. Some of you could be like in a state of like discontentment with the Four of Cups or even boredom because you're like you're waiting for something to happen or you're waiting for something to come to fruition and you don't like see it happening at this time. Again, Spirit is saying to take a step back. Ace of Pentacles, something is going to come to fruition. The Ace of Pentacles is something being manifested into reality. So, um, you know, this could be a new career opportunity, business, financial opportunity, but a solid, stable new beginning here, a fresh start. You're going to be meeting some sort of challenge as well, Scorpio. We have Cancer, Moon, <clears throat> and Gemini, and Pisces. Yeah. Now, if this is about another person, for you, Scorpio, um, then, yeah, you have somebody here who's definitely, like, feeling rejected. They're like, they, you are living rent-free in this person's head, but at the same time, they're like, oh, fine. Scorpio doesn't want to talk to me. Scorpio is wanting to, you know, reject me, avoid me. Fine. <laughs> it's like somebody throwing a temper tantrum here with the Four of Cups. So this is somebody whose inner child is not like, I don't know, somebody hasn't healed their inner child or um, somebody may act childish. All right. Tell me about change a bad habit here for Scorpios. The Queen of Wands. So some of you, some of you could have stopped a bad habit, whether it is you know uh, drinking, smoking, eat, overeating, overspending, whatever it is. And I feel like if you have if you have stopped smoking or drinking or doing anything like that, Scorpio, you could be looking like there could be like a glow that you have about yourself with this Queen of Wands. Um, some of you like you maybe you like lost weight. Or maybe you gained weight and you wanted to gain weight. Maybe you wanted to lose weight and you lost it. Um, you know, you could have stopped smoking or drinking. Or maybe spirit is calling you to do this. You could be intuitively feeling guided to do these things. And I feel like once these bad habits are changed, if you haven't changed them already, Scorpio, like some of you are, have already changed it and are seeing the effects of it. Seeing... Um, the benefits to it some of you may be called to do it the devil is here um so scorpio i feel like there's going to be some sort of like glow up here could be physically could be um definitely physically like you could just look more refreshed you know instead of looking drained you have more like color to you more like uh vitality to more energy you could be having more energy by stopping these things as well having um a clearer mind being more confident in yourself as well like these bad habits could have made you feel like not as confident and now you know again like i said some of you may have already started this process others of you are intuitively being called to this process and um you're going to be feeling really, really good about yourself. I love this. So again, like a metamorphosis. It's like you going from being from the caterpillar, going into your cocoon and coming out the butterfly with the queen of wands. The queen of wands literally is the social butterfly. So I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe some of you could have been dealing with like social anxiety too. Maybe these bad habits could have been bringing on some sort of social anxiety. And now that you're stopping, it's helping you be more social, helping you, you know, step out of your comfort zone a little more here, Scorpio. You could have Pisces, Aries in your charts. I see your confidence, like, really, like, through the roof, going through the roof here, Scorpio. And not in, like, a negative way. Not like your, your head is getting all swolled up and your ego all big. No, 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 no. <laughs> the Queen of Wands is very down to earth. Tell me about change of bad habit. Ten of Wands. Yeah, something here could have been bringing on more like exhaustion, making things harder for you. Um, some of you could definitely be going through some sort of weight loss here. But um, yeah, whatever this was, this bad habit was definitely weighing you down. It was causing exhaustion. 
um, making things, you could have been feeling burnt out as well, way more tired than usual, could have been making things feel a lot harder or, or more trying than need, need to be. For some of you, this is like um, pushing past this bad habit could have been something very challenging with the Ten of Wands. That I feel like whatever this was could have been, for some of you could have been, for others of you could be. So some of you may already be on this path. Others of you are like being called onto this path. But this bad habit could have been or could be causing some sort of blockage here, Scorpio, especially when it comes to being confident in yourself, being, having that energy, right? Um, like, I don't know, for example, whether it's smoking, drinking, overeating, whatever, right? Let's say you are feeling really good you're feeling energetic and then you go and have a couple of drinks or you go and smoke whatever you know and or you go and start overeating and now you feel sluggish you feel tired you feel weighed down you feel like oh i don't want to do anything or i don't want to go outside or i don't want to talk to anybody it's kind of like that's what i'm getting for some of you okay again very specific message that i'm getting here but i see you pushing through this scorpio um, whatever this bad habit is, some of you could be going cold turkey with something as well, but keep pushing through. You're almost at the end of this challenging time. Okay. And you're going to not regret <laughs> making this change or changing this bad habit. Okay. Yeah. The, the hermit, some of you could be in hermit mode in solitude, doing a lot of reflecting. Do you have a spirit guide? Definitely. Some of you have already like listened to that spirit guide and what it is that they are trying to lead you towards here. See, yeah. Others of you, um, you know, you're hearing like you're hearing the call here, but it may be something very difficult for you to, you know, stop or whatever it is. OK. But you definitely have a spirit guide guiding you and kind of like rooting for you, supporting you here to um get you out of some sort of bad habit so you like yeah yeah queen of swords yeah you could be doing something cold turkey here cutting something like clean out tell me about epiphany here for scorpios you could have virgo sagittarius in your chart tell me about this epiphany for scorpios justice so oh, there it is scorpio some of you could be getting some answered questions in regards to like maybe some legal advice that you uh, were needing. Some of you could have some sort of untapped talents when it comes to maybe dealing with the justice system, legalities. Um, like some of you could have an untapped talent of like being a really good lawyer or um, I don't know, a really good detective, you know. There's definitely a lot of good karma coming your way here, Scorpio. You could have Libra in your chart. You could be seeing 9-11, 10-11, 8-11. You could be seeing 8-8 eight, eight as well. I also feel like some sort of truth is going to balance things out. Like you could be having some sort of epiphany about some sort of truth here. And which is bringing balance to a situation or into your life. There's a need to not jump to conclusions at this time, Scorpio. Okay, make sure you're getting, um, like if you have questions to something, don't jump to conclusions. Be fair in your dealings with whoever it may be. Um, and make sure, you know... You get the answers to those questions, the facts, the receipts before you jump to conclusions about something. Because maybe maybe you thought somebody was like up to no good or something, but there's somebody has has been honest or truthful, um, has been living with integrity. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Give me a little more on Epiphany. Seven of Cups. Yeah, see. <laughs> now, if this isn't you, this could be somebody else. We do have Scorpio energy with the Seven of Cups. Libra, Scorpio. You could be on the cusp. Or you could be dealing with a Libra or another Scorpio. But yeah, like I said, Scorpio, Wheel of Fortune. Karma is, you know, karma has been raining like crazy for the past, I don't know, like two months in these readings. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, there could be like, you know, make sure that you're not just making things up or telling stories in your head. Make sure that you have all the proof facts and all that stuff of things before you jump to conclusions of situations. Um, but there could have been somebody who was like jumping to conclusions about you, making stuff up in their head about you, just being completely del delusional. And, uh, it feels like they're going to get some sort of answers here, some sort of truth with justice. I don't feel like it's a bad truth about you. It's like maybe they had these thoughts about who you were and, you know what I'm saying, who you really are is being shown. Things are going to be turning for the better here, Scorpio. Karma's here twice. Justice, Wheel of Fortune. Some of you could have been confused in regards to a situation here. It could be like a court situation, a legal situation, or conf confused... In regards to bringing balance to a situation. But again, I feel like you're going to get some sort of epiphany, realization, some sort of truth about something here. Yeah, be Scorpio, make sure not to pop off with the five of wands here. <laughs> okay, arguing, fighting. All right. Uh, justice and the five of wands, nine of wands, judgment, ace of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get justice in a situation here, Scorpio. There, somebody could be trying to fight you here, argue with you cause some sort of disputes, chaos, justice and the five of wands. This could be um, fights in court. Okay. Somebody could have been trying to paint a picture of something that wasn't what it was. But again, I feel like there's truth coming out and you're receiving the good karma. Yeah, judgment. A judgment is being made in your favor. And you're having a new beginning here with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Holy cow. Yeah, something here. Something here could have been like draining your pockets with the Five of Pentacles. Like, let's say you did have to go to court and there was, you know, lawyer fees, legal fees, things like that. That could have really been draining your pocket here with the Five of Pentacles. And with the Five and Ace of Pentacles being the Six of Pentacles, I feel like this is where your finances are going to be rebalancing out, Scorpio, the Fool. There's a new start and a new beginning coming in for you. I feel like, um, too, Justice and the Fool, like, you're pro you're protected from, like, harm uh, as well. Like, protected from legal harm or um, somebody was trying to get you in trouble with the law. Like, you're, you're being set free. There's something of that nature that I'm picking up here. Okay. You could be seeing 717, 711. Your birthday could be November 7th, November 9th. You could be a November Scorpio for sure. That's heavy out here. October as well, but heavy on the November Scorpio. All right, tell me about round and round. Or you could be dealing with a November Scorpio. We have Scorpio energy here as well. Tell me about round and round. King of Cups. So maybe you could be going round and round here with the King of Cups. Or there's a King of Cups that's going round and round in, this, in cycles here. Um, constantly having to learn like the same lesson, Aquarius, Pisces, tell me more, 10 of cups, the ace of swords, the three of swords, the hierophant. So there's the lesson. Scorpio, I feel like you have learned some sort of lesson. You could have been dealing with somebody who was inconsistent, in and out. Um, Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away. 
very flighty behavior, you know, somebody coming in for a good time, not a long time. And, you know, you may very, very well have cut off this situation. This could have been something that you were going around and round and round with a particular person. Um, I'm getting two messages here. Let me pull up, let me, let me get this first one out. Um, yeah, I feel like you have come to this place in your life, Scorpio, where I feel like you found happiness. You found that joy, that 10 of cups. Um, you're in an energy of feeling like you're emotionally stable, um, calm, chill, you know, King of Cups for me is very unbothered energy, like, there could be a bunch of shit going on around you and the King of Cups is just sitting there like, mm, mm hmm <laughs> Oh, man. But I feel like you've cut something off with the Ace of Swords here. Something that was causing constant, like, heartbreak, turmoil, disappointment. Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords is the Four of Swords. Like, you have taken... For, okay, Spirit is showing me, like, somebody taking the sword out here, um of the middle of the heart and that would be then left with the two of swords two of swords speaks of a stalemate so you and somebody else may be in a stalemate there may be no communication you may have blocked communication with somebody here because you learn some sort of truth you have some sort of clarity and it's like i'm not going to deal with heartbreak or or i'm not going to deal with this anymore it's a constant cycle of heartbreak disappointment strife loss like quarrels power imbalances i feel like you're focused on your happiness your family if you know if you, have, if you have children things like that focused on your career your profession your spiritual journey i feel like you're experiencing a lot of bliss a lot of joy a lot of success here as well for some of you this could have been a bit of a challenge you know really cutting something or someone off for good this, you know, this could have been one of those toxic individuals that was coming in, constantly causing you heartbreak, strife, uh, disappointment. So you're putting your peace first. You're putting your happiness first. And you're healing. You have the mental clarity and you're healing. There could also be too what spirit is saying with that um, spirit showing me somebody taking like that middle sword out of the three of swords. Somebody could want to communicate okay but again there could be some sort of stalemate a blockage like you could literally block this person um yeah it feels like somebody wants to communicate but it, for what it would just literally be the same thing over and over again like i feel like you've learned the lesson ten of cups that's a ten ten is completion you're you're ready for a new cycle ace of swords number one you could be seeing 101 anything else you could be dealing here too with a Libra, Capricorn, uh, Pisces, heavy on the Pisces, heavy on the Aquarius and the Pisces here. All right, Queen of Cups, uh, Gemini, Cancer. So there's a new beginning, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, there's the Four of Swords. All right, there's the Round and Round, Two of Pentacles. It's like something's always up and down or round and round, like these juggling like strength card ten of pentacles you know king of cups queen of cups are two especially looking at each other two individuals who there's a strong spiritual bond there's a lot of love deep feelings between two individuals it's like these are two people who can be together and don't even have to speak a word you can feel each other's feelings emotions um pretty much <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that you're going to allow this heartbreak and strife to continue here now i i do feel like this is somebody who wants to communicate with you scorpio they want to heal some sort of strife some sort of um for some of you this could even be like a misunderstanding for some of you that happened or somebody wants to clear there's somebody who wants to clear up some sort of misunderstanding could be a, a gemini or a cancer who wants to clear up some sort of misunderstanding here um there could there's definitely a separation between you and this king of cups the five of 
five of wands. Yeah, there was some sort of dispute argument here. This is like a clash, two people butting heads, a lot of dis jealousy too, um, compet competition. Somebody could have been put you in a third party situation, trying to get you to compete with other people. Son, something's been exposed about this person. I feel like you have major truth and clarity and I feel like you freed yourself from a situation here, Scorpio. Something that was chaotic or could have just caused a lot of chaos for you, especially a lot of emotional chaos. I feel like you're free. You're having fun. You're happy. You're content. Um, feeling super confident in yourself. And moving forward, you could be getting some sort of material wealth, success into your life, prosperity. Love it. The chariot, you're moving forward, Scorpio. And you're moving in the right direction. There could be good news in regards to career, money, home, or even going back to school for some of you. Some of you could be getting good news in regards to a child as well. But you're about to, you're having or about to have some sort of breakthrough here, Scorpio. Major freaking breakthrough. And I feel you're going to be super excited, super, super happy about this. Um, This could be a breakthrough in your career for some of you. Some of you could be traveling as well. Um... Some of you could be traveling to somewhere very, very warm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> some of you could be getting a new car. But uh, again, spirit wants to let you know that you're moving in the right direction. And you have the internal strength and the external strength to push through whatever it is that you're going through. And to push through this situation here. Because I feel like somebody wants to communicate. Somebody wants to resolve something they want to reconcile but spirit is saying like something here would just be like a merry-go-round it would just continue going in a circle and never really going anywhere you could have cancer in your chart you could be dealing with a cancer or a leo or you could have leo in your chart as well Yeah, Queen of Swords. I feel like you spoke your truth. Stood your ground here in a situation. Put your boundaries up. Set some clear boundaries. I feel like you said what you needed to say. In a situation here. Yes, yeah, look at that at the bottom. Speak up. You did. I feel like either you have already, you already did speak up about a situation. You're, you're, about to speak up i feel like i'm reading for two groups of scorpios some groups of scorpios are currently going through this others like this is something that's coming in um release expectations <clears throat> do not focus on the money aspect of your dreams abundance will come at the right time some of you could be entrepreneurs getting ready to sell something here um product services Ooh, we scorpio okay that was a lot <laughs> you have a lot of toxic people who are in regret scorpio you could be getting a lot of communication in a lot of messages from different people but i feel like there's one person in particular that's coming in and again i feel like high priestess you're gonna know right away what this person is all about and what it is that they're wanting and what their intentions are you're not gonna trust this person <laughs> can i get some extra messages here for scorpio please in the now. Being in the now is important for your love life at this moment. Release any expectations or worries about your future. Only in the now you can manifest and influence your current love situation. Past life relationship. Your souls know each other from previous lifetimes and you have been together before. There's an instant connection and recognition on a soul level. So what I feel about this King and Queen of Cups energy here, this is a, some sort of past life relationship you have with this person. So, yeah, you and this person are on, are on different paths. There may still be a lot of love that you hold for this person and this person holds for you, but it's going to be the same situation over and over and over again. Yeah, self-love, Queen of Cups energy, self-love. Accepting and loving yourself is key in either attracting or maintaining a healthy relationship. 
Focus on what makes you unique without comparing yourself to others. You are unconditionally loved by the universe. And there's that hermit mode that I was picking up on here with the hermit. Spending alone time and apart keeps a relationship interesting and balanced. This card also indicates a time being apart and single. And then we have not for you with third party situation. Yeah, this is this right here. This king of cups, queen of cups situation. Like I said, somebody, there was a third party situation. One more try. <laughs> you can't make this up. Yeah, no. All right. Let's get a couple other cards here for you, Scorpios. I'm just, I'm laughing because Tara, the mother of liberation, um, this whole, the devil and the, and the high priestess there with massive regret, somebody's in regret, somebody was literally either, they thought you were like into some evil demonic shit, or this is, they could have been telling people this, Scorpio, they could have been, I don't know, this, this is like, uh, going back to those readings of like somebody spreading gossip or rumors about you that were not true. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Tara, the mother of liberation. Tara appears in various colors. Green for speedy liberation, white for healing and serenity, black for power, yellow for wealth and prosperity. It might be time to ask for help so that you may overcome your difficulties. You don't have to struggle in silence. Excuse me. That could be changing a bad habit too, Scorpio. Some of you could be str struggling with trying to change a bad habit. And there could be some sort of guide or mentor or someone that could really, they have, someone who has like knowledge, wisdom, experience in this that could assist you in overcoming this. What else? Seven powers, the seven Orishas. Summon the seven Orishas to assist with overcoming obstacles and connect to your inner power. Personal prayer and sacrifice to an Orisha of your choice is encouraged to help you on your journey through life. And of course, you know, you don't, this is, uh, if this doesn't resonate with you, don't take it. Okay. What else for Scorpios? We have Zerga. Call in Zerga to protect you from evil, defeat your enemies, move through darkness, let go and dissolve attachments. Give careful attention to those around you and establish better boundaries to protect yourself from negative people. And then we have Oshun, goddess of fresh waters. Go to her for matters of love and romance, wealth, beauty, abundance, and magical knowledge. To manifest true love, you must first love yourself and embrace your beautiful imperfections and allow yourself to shine. And we have Archangel Gabriel here. We have Pombagira here, goddess of sex. Pombagira can assist you in matters of the heart, bring back a lover, sexuality, beauty, sex work, and the nightlife. Run from what's comfortable and live where you fear to live because it's never too late to be who you might have been. I mean, some of you could be, you know, sex workers. You could be in the porn industry. You know, you could do something like that. Mm, there's nothing, no judgment over here on this channel for about that if that's something that you do. But I will say that if, you know, whether it's true or not, somebody could have, like I said, the high priestess and the devil, somebody could have been saying that you are out here sleeping with this person, that were person. Somebody could have been saying you do some sort of sex work here, Scorpio. Um, and if it, if it's something that's not true, they're de somebody's definitely in regret. Okay. Anyways, Zamara, protector of the inner child. Zamara helps bring peace and harmony to troubled families, protect the young and healing your inner child. Take care of your own inner child. The child within you yearns for attention, understanding, care, and support. Archangel Gabriel, he can assist you when you are seeking inspiration, guidance from the higher realms, or reveal divine messages. Something that was hidden from you is about to be revealed to you, Scorpio. I feel like you have a soulmate coming in. You have love forming in your life. And there's a lot of self-love too. You have a lot of unconditional love. You're being called to practice forgiveness at this time, Scorpio. Release resentments, release judgments, learn to forgive yourself and others for past mistakes. Practice being kind and compassionate. get some evolution of the soul cards for Scorpios please T 
teenage soul. Exercising free will in life. Lessons. Exploring. Expressing. Liberty. Traits. Ego. Ambitious. Innovative. Some of you could be letting that teenage, that inner teenager in you out. Okay. Some of you could be feeling more like youthful, um, uh, energetic too. Yeah, like that Queen of Wands energy. Unconscious. Not awake. Unawareness of self. Prefer, prefer familiarity of unconsciousness asleep but think you're awake. That could be those toxic individuals. Burning contract. I mean, breaking contract. Excuse me. You could be burning a contract here too, Scorpio. Breaking contract. Contract stops serving your growth, freeing yourself from a soul contract, altering your divine blueprint. That's that king and queen of cups. Now, you could have broken a lot of different contracts here with toxic people, Scorpio. But I feel like that mostly has to do with this king and queen of cups. At the bottom of the deck is victory. Victory will be yours. Your enemies will be defeated. Keep going and you'll have your win with stardom. Achieving a high social status. Famous in, in entertainment. Social media famous. So confirmation on that star card for some of you. And soul is royalty. Extraordinary regal presence. Step into your own personal power. Living your purpose as a leader. And there's the inner child energy coming out again. Didn't I say somebody had some... So Scorpio, some of you too could also have some inner child healing that needs to be done with this Four of Cups, um, with this obsession energy, if you're like too focused on something here. But this could also be somebody else that's in your energy, healing unresolved childhood scars, childhood trauma holding you back, exploring your childhood wounds, answers within, connecting to your higher self, strengthening your intuition, letting your intuition guide you, burning karma, burning off past bad karma, step towards soul freedom, Advancing towards your true potential. You'll be a life path two, life path six. Let's get some spirit messages here for you, Scorpio. <clears throat> Learn to ride the waves of life when faced with difficult times. You can either fight against the current or go with it. So ask yourself, what is it to be gained by depleting your energy and fighting against it? Don't do that to yourself. Accept where you are at this moment in time. Only then can you begin to move forward. Be clear about your intentions. This makes, us, this makes it easier for us and the universe to help you. Doors will open unexpectedly. Be ready. Trust yourself more. Know that you're in the right place at the right time. Opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to, all in divine timing. Get excited about the future again instead of fearing it. So maybe, Scorpio, there could be something that you have been asleep to here with the unconscious card. And for a lot of you, I feel like it has to do with this connection right here, this King and Queen of Cups connection. And um, either you've awakened to something recently with the Sun card here, or you're about to. All right. Um, don't allow anyone to abuse your power or take it away from you. All right. Remember, you will be treated how you allow others to treat you. Show them that you value yourself far too much to settle for anything less than you deserve. I get one more. It's time to hit the reset button. Clear out the old so that room is available for the new to enter. Trust that better things are coming fast. Prepare to move to the next phase of your life. This is your rebirth. Welcome this beautiful brand new energy. You've got this, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, it says, look past what you feel are your incapabilities. Instead, focus on everything you have achieved so far. It is okay to acknowledge your weaknesses, but keep in mind that they don't define you. Your strength and your beautiful soul are clear for all to see. Okay, I'm being called to get some Healing Waters Oracle here. Definitely feel like Scorpios need a healing message. I feel like you could be in a place right now in your life where you feel like your wishes are being met, your desires are being met. You're just like in a very peaceful, optimistic, content place in your life. And you have to be mindful of people who are trying to dim your light, people who are trying to take from that energy because they see how giving you are. Avoiding these types of toxic individuals. Message here for Scorpios, please. 
Okay, we have two cards. The wishing well. Unexpected gifts, kindness, karmic jewels, and thank you. Gratitude, appreciating what's sustaining you. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is the rainbow. Sweet relief, new beginnings, a new way forward. <clears throat> All right, the wishing well. It's said that in ancient times, women would sing and whisper into wells, believing that the water would carry their messages from one corner of the world to another. This may, like, this may sound like something from a children's fable, but in fact, several scientific researchers have theorized that water can be imbued with energy from our thoughts, emotions, and intentions. Wishing wells are found all over the world, and they mirror to us the great reverence held by our ancestors for Earth's fresh waters. Greek mythology says that the tradition of wishing wells began through the practice of throwing coins into a sacred well of the warrior, Amphiorus, who was a renowned oracle. The wishing well is a wonderful card that carries with it great blessings, gifts, and fulfilled wishes. When it, when it appears in a spread, it's a sign that things are happening and that the re realization of your dreams is likely to occur. Of course, any creation requires embodiment and action, so it's not a sign to stop moving toward your dreams in practical ways. Rather, it offers deep encouragement to keep going and to trust that all the groundwork you've already put in place is working. It can also be a sign that helpful people are coming into your life to support you in creating your heart's deepest desires. Affirmation. I receive all of the gifts that life has to offer me with an open heart and an open mind. I'm surrounded by kind, helpful people. Things are working out for me. I'm living my heart's deepest, most daring prayer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the next card is... Thank you. <laughs> water is life. Wherever there's water, there's life. It's the ultimate blessing. It's the thing that sustains us the most. Life isn't possible without it, and yet most of us take water for granted. In our bris busy modern world, it's easy, breezy. Some, for some of you, you could live somewhere where it is breezy. <laughs> In our busy modern world, it's easy to become disconnected from the truly sacred things that are supporting and sustaining us. To take the simple things and the people closest to us for granted, assuming that they'll always be there. Sometimes it takes the threat of going without something for us to realize it's even there, to truly appreciate what we believe we could not go without. This card is an invitation to reflect and appreciate those things that support and sustain us the most. From water to loved ones, what are you most grateful for? Who are you most appreciative of? How are you being called to offer thanks? How can you honor the things that hold you the most? When we open our eyes to what's truly holding it, holding us, the way we look at our life changes and the more thanks we give, the more abundance we realize is there. The more we honor those who give to us, the more connected to life we feel. And offering thanks is a way of giving back too. When we acknowledge the support that we have in our lives already, we're more easily able to see the sacred that's woven through it all. Wow. Okay. get a goddess a couple goddess messages here and then i'm gonna get a fortune oracle and i might actually pull from the purple deck as well it's been a while and spirit is definitely guiding me to that deck right now can i get some goddess messages here for scorpios please we have frig goddess of destiny you make a difference in the lives of those you love. Don't fret when you get ensnared on the physical plane. Simply shapeshift into a winged creature. Rise above and allow yourself to see your situation from the highest vantage point. From this sky-high perspective, you can alter the course of destiny. We have Butterfly Maiden, Goddess of Renewal. Didn't I say something about y'all being the butterfly here, Queen of Wands? <laughs> There are times when being cloaked in your cocoon, cultivating your strength, or licking your wounds is needed and necessary. But now is the springtime of your life, and it's time to make an entrance. Spread your multicolored wings and share your triumph with the world. As you boldly express, you give hope to those who need it most. I have to check through my camera roll to see if I got a good picture of this butterfly that I saw today, Scorpio. And I felt these overwhelming emotions when I saw it because I was like wow this butterfly the wings looked like they were broken but like they didn't fully form right or they did break at some point but this butterfly 
was still flying without a problem, just gliding and flying. And its wings weren't even like whole, it was broken, but it was so beautiful. It wasn't allowing the fact, like it was, it was so unique. And I feel like that was Spirit's way of saying that, you know, a lot of things might have broke that butterfly down in a little bit of time that they've been out of their cocoon. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that butterfly is not giving up. They're still flying. They're still showing their beauty, no matter what, what they went through. Oh my goodness. Okay. If I find a good picture, I'll post it on the community board. messages last message here for scorpios in regards to a goddess message please thank you our lady of guadalupe mother of forgiveness and reconciliation you evoke a harmonizing well-being that dissolves all barriers to love stand in the borderless meadow of divine mercy and allow yourself to see all sides of those you carry in your heart including yourself find the beauty in those you might otherwise judge and know as you do your loving presence heals all so you know, you might end up forgiving this person and moving forward with your life, but it doesn't mean that you have to come back together with this person or you have to be friends or lovers or anything like that. You know, forgiveness is for you, Scorpio. Um, At the bottom of the deck is Mary, mother of the Christ presence. Go to the rooftop of your consciousness so you may receive your higher calling. Surrender to the divine energy birthing through you. Without needing to have it all figured out, be a willing vessel through whom the universe can deliver a new idea creation or expression that might be the salvation of the world okay let's get a message from here for scorpios Spirit is saying, well, Spirit is bringing me back to something I actually saw because I, I had said something here about something here could have been a misunderstanding or like somebody wants to say, oh, something was a misunderstanding. And something I saw earlier today was like, you know, you're at a certain age where things just are not misunderstandings anymore. People know exactly what they're doing and what they're saying, you know, at some point people have to grow up people have to take accountability for what it is that they're doing and saying to people and how they're hurting them and that might be the problem here that somebody just never takes accountability really too that could be the round and round all right message here for scorpio please we have blessings of kumu no good thing shall be withheld, Scorpio. Let me actually put this right here. At the bottom of the deck is number 22. In Ganyama, honor of the ancient king. Okay. So what? Uh, uh, we are still... What date is it? Oh no, we are in Virgo season. So Leo season. This all could have... You know, Leo season could have been a very... Uh, significant time for all of this playing out or all of these things here Scorpio or a lot of you are finding the lion or lioness within you but like this card also speaks to this uh Nganyama card with the lion on it it speaks of spiritual justice spiritual protection um all right number nine your birthday could be on the ninth you could be a life path nine number nine is september so the month of september could also be significant the universe wants to express its creativity healing and brilliance through you it does not want to be limited to repeating what has already been newness needs to burst through you into startling expressions of abundant life you are guided into unknown territory guided to go beyond that which you have known yourself and your world to be so that something original and necessary can be brought to life the universe knows all that you need so that you can best attain your destiny. All shall be provided for you. Expand your faith to allow for the greater workings of spirit. Resources are coming to you now. That's like the six of pentacles here, Scorpio. If you have been in lack, limitation, or anxiety about such things happening, relax and substitute your stress for the absolute trust 
for, uh, that the universe will provide all good things with generosity and grace. Six of Pentacles, the star. If you find this challenging, take it one step at a time. Reprogramming your heart and mind into new habits of peaceful trust. It will feel much better to live like this. It is not foolishness, but wisdom that embraces such unconditional faith. Know that the provision of all the resources required is a certainty. The only variables are the details of how the journey unfolds. When you tune into your heart, you'll remember that you are loved, protected, and guided in every moment. Trust the universe. When you are a dreamer, a visionary, and a seer of the need for transformation in our world, it can be easy to feel intimidated, to dismiss the possibility for radical change as unrealistic, to believe that the greatest of our visions are unattainable in the real world. However, many things the human mind once considered impossible are now part of our daily lives. The impossible becomes possible on a regular basis. When we trust in the universe, we come to understand certain truths, including the realization that we don't have to be limited to what we logically know. If we are willing to expand our faith, then that which we are capable of experiencing in harmony with the universe will expand also. Your beautiful and perhaps impossible seeming dreams are supported by the unlimited resources of the universe. Even if you don't know what is needed and when for creating a successful outcome, the universe does. You're being guided to reset your mind and heart to unconditional trust. This can be a challenge for the human part of us that tends to give weight mostly to what can be perceived through the five bodily senses. Yet for your spirit, this is easy. The spirit within you knows the incredible power of the divine for bringing together all aspects in the perfect way at the perfect time for astounding success. Your spirit knows that when you take action on your most impossible divine mission from a position of faith rather than a more limited perspective, the universe helps you every step of the way. It is time to adjust your belief systems to encompass this entire universe as your creative partner in life. It provides you with resources, opportunities, and learning experiences to gain precious information and life skills so that you are singular, singularly and wholly equipped to do what you have come to this planet to do. Kumu, the great wisdom teacher, guides you now. Don't allow your mind to create visions of poverty, lack, failure, or absence of support. Focus instead upon the sweet generosity of the universe lovingly providing for you, often in advance of you consciously realizing what you need. With all that is necessary for your best life and fulfillment of your sacred purpose. All the answers, the connections, the resources, everything that you need is right there for you at the best moment. With a focus on a feeling of excitement about opportunities, inspirational innovation, and the best and brightest of human creative endeavor, surge forward in harmony with each other to establish sustainable new systems. You can lend your energy, your mind, and your body to what you want to happen in this world. The universe will hear and feel you and provide resources accordingly. Let your thoughts and hopes become your prayers and the answers to those prayers will benefit all life on this planet. And the last deck, Scorpio. Fortune Oracle here for Scorpios, please. Fortune Oracle. Fortune Oracle for Scorpio. Chariots. Charge ahead with confidence. Okay, so what's twice there? The chariot is popping through, Scorpio. You are in the driver's seat of your life, your journey. All right, at the bottom of the deck is luck. One of my favorite cards, number 19. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Somebody could be Irish. I'm hearing luck of the Irish. There could be some, very much some good luck coming your way. Okay. All right, number six. You are a force to be reckoned with. The time is right to make your plans for the future, so lay firm foundations now. For some, there will be a spiritual transformation as you triumph over difficulties and successfully pursue goals. Expect some stiff competition, but know that your determination and newfound confidence will see you the winner, even against the odds at times. Charge ahead proudly. Your time is now. Personal relationships, platonic or romantic, you will command respect and be more in control of the people you want to be involved with as friends, lovers, or just those you socialize with. You will be stronger and more able to establish and maintain personal boundaries, driving away any users, abusers, or controlling and domineering relationships out of your life. You will naturally command more respect and be more in control of your life and who you want in it on a personal level. 
Now is a good time for singles to meet a strong, successful, ambitious new lover. Ooh, I feel like it's as you release whoever this is, Scorpio. Career money. The card represents landing, not landing, okay. Some of you could be landing, airplane, or landing a job, all right? This card represents finding your life's purpose, overcoming money or career difficulties, and marching forward to splendid victories. With a certain amount of aggression, you can reach the heights of success or attain whatever you are wishing for in your life. A powerful aura surrounds you and you will be more assertive. This will be richly rewarding in the long term. Power tip. Place a horseshoe sprayed gold with the open end facing upwards on your office or front door. Alternatively, place a glass or brass figurine of a horse or a picture of eight horses, the symbol for winning, in your wallet, home or on your office wall behind your desk chair to increase strength and power. And I'm going to leave it right there, Scorpios. What a beautiful reading. <laughs> if this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye.